Bookstores come in all shapes and sizes, and in Rockport, we may have found one of the smallest bookstores in New England. 53 square feet. I don't actually know if it's the smallest, but I like to think it is. Susie Rich is the co-owner of Susie's Stories. It opened in 2019. We walked up Bearskin Neck, and this shop and the shop next door were available, had a little rent sign on them. I had no intention of becoming a bookstore owner. Susie's Stories is open year-round and caters to the local community. We actually started as a children's bookstore, but it's been a major demand for us to change into a bookstore for everyone. Featured in the shop are five children's books written by Rich herself. I started writing them years ago when the kids were little. You know, they did the practices, the dances, the football. I just sat there while they were doing that and wrote stories. I didn't get them published until years and years later. Rich says she loves seeing customers light up when they find a book that brings a spark to their eyes. They see a book that was their childhood book. It feel good because you just hear the stories and it brings back wonderful memories. And speaking of childhood memories, many Bostonians fondly recall visiting Mrs. Mallard and her ducklings at the public garden. My grandchildren, particularly when they were little, would go down to the ducks and they would poke at somebody and they say, my grandmother made those ducks. <laughs> Nancy Schoen is a sculptor and creator of the popular bronze statues based on Robert McCloskey's Make Way for Ducklings. Now Schoen has a book of her own, Ducks on Parade. Well, I love talking about Ducks on Parade. <laughs> it's really such a happy photographic book. Her new book highlights the ducks at their very best. I'm sure you have seen the ducks. They keep getting dressed up in different ways. Well, starting with 1987, when I put the ducks in, we had a little birthday party and they had birthday hats. Through the years, Shern has received countless photographs of the ducks dressed in an array of outfits. As a matter of fact, one of the very last photographs is BLM. It's on a sweater. Another one is somebody else with vote. The ducks are wearing masks, for example, and yet there are flowers all over the place. It's historic. This book has been so much fun to put together. And at 92, Shern is still sculpting and remains excited by the world around her. I'm doing some new things that I'm working on. Particularly, I was impressed with Amanda Gorman and her wonderful speech. So I'm doing a sculpture that has to do with her poem. I love the way she talked about her skinny little legs. <laughs> but this is an amazing woman. And if this is what the future generation of women are going to be about, she is perfect. She's wonderful. And I, I, I can't wait. I want to live forever so I can see what happens. That's great. And Nancy mm -hmm. Shern has a new book out. It's called Make Way for Nancy. It is The book is about her, uh, her decades-long career in public art. And back to Susie's story. Susie told us that initially the store was only going to be open during the summer season, but once the pandemic hit, she realized it really had to be open year-round, and so she has done that. She's also in the middle of co-authoring another children's book due out later this year. Excellent. Next, book recommendations from some well-read experts.